Well, I'm here at the Venetian at the AMD Special Little Expo area, full of AI PCs, and I'm with Matt Unanx, uh, who I've spoken to before uh, over Zoom, but now we're meeting for the first time, so great to meet you. Great to be here, Alex. Glad you could join us. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, uh, AI, of course, as we know, is the theme of CES 2024, and in fact, yesterday I was at the Intel event where they finally... Uh, like, uh, you know, well after you guys have launched your first and second generation AI PCs, they've, they've finally joined the, the fray. So we definitely have AI on the boil and it's only going to get more and more exciting. But what is uh, AMD doing in 2024 with the AI PCs? Well, 2024 is a very exciting year for us at AMD with the AI PCs and where we're going with it. Um, as you pointed out, you know, we were excited to bring our first generation Ryzen 7040 mm -hmm. products with Ryzen AI to market last year yeah. in 2023. And we just recently announced our next generation Ryzen 8040 uh, lineup of products, which takes that Ryzen AI capability to the next level. Uh, those platforms, like some of these that you see behind me, uh, with that Ryzen 8040 lineup of products, begin to be available in market um, early this year, coming very, very soon. Um, and 2024 is going to be a year for us where we are very focused on scaling the deployment of our Ryzen AI technology. Um, and also working with the broader developer and ISV ecosystem to get more applications and use cases you know, tuned, developed, and optimized to run on those Ryzen AI-powered devices. Yeah, I do remember at the December event that you actually launched a competition for developers to start uh, pumping out as many different AI, useful AI apps as they could. And of course, Microsoft since then has also launched the Copilot key, which I'm assuming is going to be seen on many of the AMD-powered notebooks in yep. 2024. Uh, so, how are you already seeing uh, your partners like forecasting demand for these? I mean, there must be a huge upgrade cycle that's about to happen. Yeah, well, I think when you look at the combination of um, you know the Ryzen AI capability that we're bringing to the table, coupled with the increasing focus and excitement around some of the applications and use cases, that's what I think is really going to go drive the refresh. Um, you know, as you mentioned, just this is the year of AI on the PC, in the cloud. It's everywhere. Um, and you know the, the competition you announced is great for generating excitement and generating a lot of focus on how to bring some of these applications to the table. And it's really that, that melding of the hardware that we can provide coupled with those use cases and those applications that are maturing and, and growing every day um, that are going to be key to driving that, that better user experience and that refresh cycle for you know, us and for our customers. And for those who didn't buy a Ryzen 7040 in 2023, how much more of an improvement is the AI processor within the Ryzen 8040 compared to the previous model? Yeah, great question. So as we look from that, you know, that step up from our Ryzen 7040 to the Ryzen 8040, within the dedicated NPU, which is that Ryzen AI uh, dedicated accelerator, it's a 60% increase in AI capability. So we go from 10 tops uh, to 16 tops. The product overall delivers 39 tops of AI capability. Um, which is, you know, really, really strong growth year over year. Um, and we're excited about what we can do, again, with those partners to take advantage of all of that compute capability. And uh, can you just uh, remind us again of who some of the partners are that will be launching the Ryzen 8040 powered PCs? Yeah, well, obviously I can't, you know, pre-announce for, for everybody, but, um, you know, as you can see, some of the systems that are here, uh, this is a gaming PC from Razer. Um, we have others from Asus. Um, and we have you know, great partnerships with HP, Lenovo, and many others. So we're very, very excited about the deployment that's coming up. I think one of the things that we're very proud of is with our first generation Ryzen 7040, um, we delivered over 50 PCs in partnership with our OEMs into the market by the end of 2023. Um, and we expect that number to grow uh, substantially as we think about the number of platforms powered by that Ryzen AI technology in market this year. So what else do we need to know about the commercial client space and AI in 2024? Well, I think 2024 is going to be a definitive year in terms of enterprise customers specifically, mm -hmm. really getting their heads wrapped around how to take advantage of these AI capabilities. Um, we see a lot of excitement from enterprise customers. We see a lot of desire to figure out how to take these PCs and really make their employees more productive and deliver a better ROI on these investments that they make. Um, and 2024 is the year where the hardware and, and the software ecosystem and those applications really come together um, to, to make that a lot more clear for a lot of our customers. So it's, it's really an exciting year. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of maturation in that space as we work through 2024. And of course, with the sales forces, I mean, all those other companies that offer enterprise software, they'll now be able to take full advantage of the AI 
uh, new engines that's in every new PC, which they couldn't before. They would have had to have taken advantage of GPU or CPU and slowed that, things down. That, that's absolutely right. And, and what's amazing about this space right now is not only can they take advantage of it, but if, if it almost feels like every week there's some new capability there that they can you know, leverage and take advantage of. And so it is just, it's so exciting because it's moving so fast. Um, you know, you think about where we were just one year ago today, you know, this whole generative AI space was, was basically brand new, it was barely it's talked nascent. about. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, so you think about where we're going to be by the end of 2024, um, it's, it's pretty exciting to think about all the possibilities. Well, Matthew Unangst, commercial client director at AMD, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy Thanks, the rest Alex. of CS 2024, and I hope I bump into you during the show again. Absolutely. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.